Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video we are going to create an integration between monday.com and Google Sheets. First things first, we have to log in into our account at uh, zapier.com since we are going to use uh, this tool to create these integrations. So on top left corner, there is uh, this plus option where you can uh, create the Zap and we are going to use it. Right now we have to start or we can start with a trigger. But first on top of left uh, corner, there is still this option in 2023 where you can name your Zap. We are going to name it Monday Sheets, for example. You see it is uh, saved and we want to start with the trigger. The reason why I decided to create this video again it's that uh, in 2023 there are a couple of changes with Zapier so don't worry we'll cover it in this video. So at the trigger we pick monday.com we pick an event there are six of them there used to be few fewer so we want to go with a new one with a new user hit continue and click on the account that um, you are working on. So in my op uh, in my personal case, this is monday.com account. It's, I believe uh, it's uh, expired <laughs> since last year, but should not be a problem. You just test the trigger. In my case, it will go, uh, it will go like this since the account is expired, but in your case, you will see the third green flag. So let's move on to actions. With actions, you, as you probably thought, we need to write down uh, sheets, so Google Sheets option. It's not a premium one, so you can finish the integrations without any investing money or more time into Zapier. You don't, you don't have to go premium, that's what I wanted to say. And right now we have to pick from all of those options the ones that you fancy the most. Let's go like this and hit continue. Right now we need to pick an account. So in my case it's this one and then fill out the form that will appear here. So in drive, my Google Drive spreadsheet. I don't know. Yeah, let's go with uh, 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 like I don't know. Okay, let's let's go with this one. Column name. I don't know. Let's go with new user Monday. Let's go like this. Index will be this. And then just continue. And we can refresh the fields if you feel like. And right after that option, or after you fill out this form you will be able to finish the integrations between those two. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Have a great day and goodbye.